Hey there, my friends. This is Baja Window to the South, and as we told you before, now we are in Rosarito. We're visiting all the craft beers in La Baja, and we are with Eleuter and Tinta Negra. Rosarito. Man, thanks for saying yes to this conversation. No worries about it. <laughs> well, you know, we're here, so this is starting. You're all set? Yes. All right, started. man. Where did it all start? Where Tinta Negra started? Well, we started in 2016. We okay. opened in, uh, July, in July of 2016 okay. to the public, but we, we started building everything around April in okay. the 2016. And we started to brew our own beer in the 2017. Okay. And in this moment, we have a different kind of beers from Al Baja. We have beer from Mexicali, we have beer from Ensenada, from Tijuana, and you know, our own beer from Rosarito. I saw that on the fridge. Yes, it's on the fridge. It's like the visitors. <laughs> and all about this concept we have is we impulse the local commerce. You know, we yeah. only sell local beer craft. And at the same time, uh, we start to, you know, you can see here, the yeah. five different kind of beers we do. We have an Imperial Stout, we have a Red Ale, we have a Double IPA, a Hazy IPA, really popular with the United States citizens, and we have the wheat beer too. Okay. You know, we always looking for the best quality of ingredients to brew this kind of beer. And uh, what can I tell you? People really where, like it. Tell me, where did the name is coming from? And well, why? it's like, a, you know, at the beginning, we see the different concept of all beer and they have they own the pet. Yeah. So we just realized they don't have an octopus. <laughs> okay, and you can okay. see yeah. on our wall we have an octopus drinking beer. And that's why it's called black ink tinta negra. Yeah. Black ink in English. Instead of the octopus beer. Yes. <laughs> right. the, you know this this uh, own defense um, system of the octopus is a black ink. Yeah. So we decide to adopt as a pet and the same time as a name. Same so man, so you have how many uh, styles are you brewing? Or just this that you just mentioned? Well, in, in this moment, we have this on tap. Okay, good. But we can uh, we can start to brew for the four families of the beer. You know, okay. we divided the beers in four families. Okay, okay. We divided in ales, we divided in Lager. lagers, lambic, and hybrid. Okay. And you can see here, we have a wheat beer. So wheat beer means wheat, means yeah. a lager. We have a hazy IPA, it's really uh, popular with yeah. the south of the California. So Very fruital. Yeah. Yes, the fruity, the citrical yeah, yeah. kind of taste. So that's why we decided to brew this one. We have a 9% Imperial IPA. We have the red IPA. Sometimes people, you know, they like to to mix the beer with with the thing, the you know, with the food they eating. So yeah. we decide to make a profile for every food that you can take it on the food fest. So it's most of your beers will be matching all the different yes. food that you have here. Exactly. Which is pretty much like comparing wine and food. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing I learned from you guys today, and that's. An amazing <laughs> fact. Yeah. You guys farm your own hops. Yes. That's How true. did that happen, man? In the 2018, I decided to to start something new. Right. I, I will let you know a secret about this. <laughs> I don't drink beer. I just brew it. Okay. I don't even taste it. But I use my tools. Okay. To know the quantitative information on the beer. Okay. We follow all the international uh, concept. It's, it's called, it's one word for that one. International group of association of master brewers. Okay. International association of, of uh, brew masters. So they have a profile to brew a beer. Yeah. Example, this one, wheat beer. Uh, to be a wheat beer, you have to have uh, Certain percent of alcohol, certain percent of bitter units. Yeah, that's right. So we follow that kind of um, recipe, and the result is this. You're, are you in the middle of uh, of the recipes, or you're on top, or do you really want to make people come in and are it's, in the lower limits? It's really weird because sometimes okay. the people ask me, "What is the beer that you like? What do you like recommend me to me?" And I can't give an answer. Because, you know, something that you like, maybe it will be different for other people. I ask them, what do you want? How do you feel today? What kind of beer do you want to drink today? Yeah. So in that way, I can make a recommendation about it. An example, 
you can see the difference even between colors yeah. is kind of the difference between alcohol. 5% alcohol, 6.5% right. alcohol, 9% alcohol. alcohol. You, you can see the clearness. Yeah. Red IPA, 6.5% alcohol, Imperial Stout, 12% alcohol. Each one of these beers can mix with everything that you want. At the same time, with how do you feel in the time? That's one of the things that most of people must learn. Beer match food. Yes. All the time. All the time. It's a rule. Is that yes, true? Definitely. It's, it's really? like a wine. It's a, it's, a, it's a culture. It's about a chemistry. It's like a wine. At the same time, you can mix it with your feelings. Yeah. You know, in the, the moment, how do you feel? You can match it with the food at the same time. Let's go back to the hopes. So, you started farming your own hopes. Yes, 2018. I started 20. farming. Supposedly, they have to pass 11 years to create a new variant of the hops. Okay. And about my hopes, I use um, rosemary yeah. and I use Jamaica flower. So sometimes my flower of hops give me this kind of color. It's a little bit like a gold and the yeah. same time with red. Okay. So okay. that's why when you come to my brew and you taste it, honestly, you will not taste the same in other parts. No, it's going to be different. It's going it's to be, be different. different. It's going the to be fresh. fresh. You can even yeah. smell it. You can smell the hops. Sometimes when Let's it's a um, farming process, oh, I love this one. we used to, to bring hops. They start to mix it and yeah. the chemical is called lupulin, lupulina. Yeah. When you start to smash on the hand, you mm -hmm. can smell mm -hmm. the IPA in the hands at the mm -hmm. same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's something <laughs> awesome. It, give you, it, it gives you a great sense of freshness on a yes. beer. Yes, we have a Galaxy, we have a variance of a Citra hops, and we have a Marilla hops beer. Man, oh man. Give us your social media, where we can find Tinta Negra. You can find it on Facebook uh, as the Cerveceria Tinta Negra, and you can find it on Instagram too. And we've, we upload um, videos when we farming, when we start to brew it. So you can see all of there. Man, thanks a lot for the conversation. You're Guys, welcome. Baja Window to the South, please come over to Tinta Negra. If they are farming their own hopes, that's something that is not really something feasible that you're gonna see in different breweries. There's only This four is, people. That's a special, mm -hmm. that's a special. So you have to come to Tinta Negra, thanks a lot. This is Baja Window to the South. My name is Jesus. 